Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 15th. This is for April 15th. We are just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. This is an overall energy. I'm just going to get one card, and then we're going to use that deck right there. light. This is the sun card. This is a card of extreme bliss, right? Extreme happiness, seeing the light. So somebody may be seeing the light. They may be being enlightened in some way about where happiness lies or where happiness is. This is also a card of rebirth. Healing. You know, I just look at that light pouring in. I, I really feel like somebody is being enlightened. They're being enlightened. They're seeing the light in a situation. This is liberation, going down a new path. We have somebody here that is deciding to go down a new path. They may have manifested a big, huge opportunity, or they see a big, huge opportunity at the end of the path. Somebody has taken a lot of time to really go within. I feel like we have somebody here that's been going through some sort of repression, maybe a loss of self. There's been some extreme highs and lows. There's been some dissatisfaction in a situation. Probably there hasn't been a lot of growth and somebody may be deciding to, you know, liberate themselves from the situation because they see a better opportunity elsewhere. Just like they're seeing the light. They could be dealing with a situation or a person that refuses to compromise, that causes a lot of upheaval in their life. And, you know, they're just, this is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. It's time for me to break free, you know. I want happiness. Somebody may be seeing that they were dealing with another person who had hidden agendas. You know, they're seeing the light. This person has hidden agendas. That could be the case. Maybe they've been dealing with a fake. Somebody may be dealing with a negative Nancy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody that's just been bringing them down, stealing their energy. Somebody that, you know, has been keeping secrets from them. Um, looks like somebody's heart is telling them to head in a new direction. There's been some deception. There's been some lies. Definitely. There's definitely been some lies. There's been some, there's been some secrets here. But I think we have somebody here that is waking up, per se. It's like, I, I get it. I get it. Death. Oh, God. Somebody's been holding on to a dead end, and it's getting old. It's like, I can't hold on anymore. It's, it, I can't. I can't hold on to this dead end. It's time to break free. I mean, these are both cards of death. They are. And somebody's been holding on, you know, not allowing the release, not releasing. But, you know, they're right. Like, I mean, somebody's deciding that it's time. It's time. I can't hold on anymore. It's too painful. 
It's time for me to break free, liberate myself from this troublesome situation that I've been holding on to. You know, I got to follow my heart towards happiness. So, yeah, I feel like today is a day of, you know, somebody may be re or delivering bad news. This is bad news, you know, not what you want to hear. Somebody may be delivering the bad news or on the receiving end that somebody has decided to go down a new path. They see a bigger, better opportunity and they're taking it. They're taking that path. They're facing their fears that somebody's been trying to escape They've been trying to escape reality. There's definitely escaping here. Somebody has been trying to escape, you know, uh, reality per se. It feels like somebody is is now like basically seeing the light about where what happiness is and where happiness lies. Somebody's been dealing with an individual who has really caused a lot of disharmony in their life. Uh, you know, this it's just been so erratic you know they, they've caused a lot of upheaval and it feels like now it's like this this what's what's been hidden has come to light okay we can't hide the truth anymore it's like the truth is out that's what i see you know this is a false connection it's a false romance there's there's no love here and i i i see that you know i love myself and i want to go after my dreams this is unrealistic i gotta break free from this uh, dead end situation that I've been holding on to. So I feel like we have somebody here that may have lost their focus. They may have been duped by a player, perhaps. Um, <laughs> grieving. Five of Cups, that's grieving. Loss. not realizing that there's another opportunity but I think they are now I think we have somebody that has been you know there's been something hidden behind the scenes and I think that now we have somebody that you know has been is starting to realize that you know I definitely have a better opportunity from 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 whatever this is for I gotta accept the truth I gotta accept reality of what this is I really feel like we have somebody that here that is getting this is a reality check it really is so, uh, whew, five of cups, that, that's painful. Somebody is definitely grieving. They've been grieving for quite some time. There's a lot of regrets. There is some regrets. There's regret, regrets for, um, <laughs> not seeing it sooner. You know, I think somebody regrets not seeing the light sooner, you know, wasting their time. With a player. Somebody that was deceiving them. Oh, gosh. I feel like uh, somebody is de deciding basically to go down that new path, to broaden their horizons, to start over. This is where, this is the page that, that gives you the moral backbone to do the right thing, even though it's not glamorous. You know, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta, I gotta do the real thing. I gotta be practical. I gotta be responsible. I gotta do the right thing. So I feel like, look at these pages. We got three pages here. There is probably a message that is going to come in. It may not be what you really want to hear though considering this one it you know it's not going to be the prettiest me message i think that we have somebody here that is deciding to go in a new direction and follow their heart they're leaving an unrealistic situation where there is no more growth it's been a fake situation it's been really erratic and somebody regrets, they do. So I think we have somebody here that regrets making the wrong choice, being deceived. It's like they feel guilty for not seeing it sooner. I think we have somebody here that's been trying to prove themselves. 
they may have been working with with a person that had hidden agendas okay they somebody's been working together with a person that had hidden agendas that was deceptive okay that's what I see and I think we have this person that is really unhappy with the choice that they made and they regret it and it's just like now they're they're deciding that they don't want to put any more effort into this they don't they don't want to give it any more of their energy I think we have somebody that is 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 turning something down or they're giving something away it's like I don't want it anymore there's no more passion for this Somebody's been weighed down. They are. They're feeling weighed down with their grief, with their regrets. Oh my God. Yep, definitely. Somebody has has is feeling weak. They're they're they're. It's like their health is declining because. I think we have somebody here that has lost their their inner strength you know to fight for fixing a situation I just I don't have any more confidence in this I don't have any more willpower to fight I don't have any more passion or desire to to work with this <clears throat> negative situation anymore I don't I, I think we have somebody that's giving up on a situation that has stolen a lot of their energy it's brought them down it's brought them made them really sad it's like they've been dealing with a fake and now they realize that I've been dealing with a fake this whole time And now it's like they don't have the energy or the desire, like I said, or the confidence or any ambition or any desire to put in any more energy to this deceptive whatever it is anymore. I, I don't even want to do it. It's like somebody somebody's like, I don't, it's like... Nothing. You know, done, done. I just, I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to talk about it. You know, I don't, I, I, I feel like I, I'm sensing silent treatment. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I'm, I'm done, give up. I done, give up. I don't have any more. There's no, there's no growth here. Somebody's giving up completely. And I think they're really sad that they have to do this, but they realize that they were dealing with a, somebody who, you know, definitely had hidden agendas and it may have to do with money. They may have been dealing with a person that was only in it for the money or for the security. And now they're just realizing that, you know, there's, there's no love here. You know what I mean? That It's false, fake love with the Knight of, Cump a Knight of Cups reversed. They were dealing with a person that really had no love to offer them. And it's like, I got to I, I, I gotta follow my heart here. I, I, gotta, I deserve love. I deserve love and this is unrealistic. I deserve love. I got to let go of this dead end situation because there's no there's no growth. And I just I really feel like we have somebody here that is just like <laughs> no matter what I do, we can't fix this. This is a painful, stressful decision. Somebody is making a painful, de de stressful decision and w in which they've avoided. They've avoided the truth for quite some time. I think we have somebody here that has done everything in their power. They have. They've done everything in their power to make something work. But no matter what they do, the person they were dealing with was very secretive. Very. Somebody's been down with the moon and the high priestess reverse. They are dealing with a very secretive, sneaky, shady individual who was doing things behind the scenes. And I think the truth, you know, has been known, but, you know, probably 
not wanting to be known, you know, trying kind of like uh, living in denial here. Somebody's been just trying to deny the truth when the fact of the matter is the truth, the truth, you know. So I feel like we have somebody here that is realizing the truth about whoever they've been dealing with is a fake. They're fake. Somebody is <laughs> two of swords. You know, now that they, they have to make this difficult decision, this painful choice about, you know, accepting what they know. I think this person knows that they're dealing with, with somebody who had hidden agendas. And, you know, now they have to make a decision as to whether they want to continue with this person or not. I don't think they're going to. I don't. A couple cards fell. I got to get them. Oh, okay. And it's too many, so. But they, you got one card right here that I'm going to take. I don't know what it is, but. The world. Major new beginning here. You have learned. Somebody's learned a huge lesson. They have. They have. This is an ending. This is the last card in the deck. We have a we have a traveler. We have a we have a person here that has reached the end, obviously. Okay. We have a we have a person here that has reached the end. It's it's over. It's time to step over that finish line. Uh, you know, it's time for my new life. It's time for me to start over. It's time for me to begin again. It's time for me to, you know, bring closure to this unhappy situation where there's no more growth. Okay. It's time for me to start over. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is making a painful, stressful decision that is really hurting them to make this decision. It's painful. They, they realize that they have dealt with a sneaky, shady individual who was probably lying to them and, you know, not telling them the truth. And now, you know, they're, they're deciding that it's, it's time. It's time to move on, right? It's time to complete this cycle. This is major completion here. It's the last card. It's like somebody has learned a huge, huge lesson about happiness and where happiness lies. So we do, we have a major completion here, which leads to a major new beginning. Somebody is liberating themselves, breaking free from something because they see the light. They see a bigger, better opportunity at the end of the path, at the end of the road. It's like, I know there's something better. There is a new opportunity being offered. It's like, and maybe that's why they make the decision. Maybe they get this offer. They get this opportunity to, you know, this is a golden opportunity right here. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. That card right there. Somebody is being offered an opportunity of a lifetime. And now they have to choose. Are they ready? Are they ready to start over? They're ready for their new life. And I think that's what we got here. We got somebody here that is in the process of, on the 15th in, of making a, making a very serious, stressful decision, perhaps to let go of a painful situation, probably where, you know, there was no passion and there probably wasn't any love. I mean, the Knight of Cups reversed. There's there's no love there. There's That cup is empty. There's no love in that cup. There's no love there. And I feel like we have somebody here that is like, you know what, there's no growth. This has weighed me down. I've held on to it long enough. It's time for me to break free. It's unrealistic and open my heart and go down that new path. So that's what I have here. I feel like we have somebody that is seeing the light. I want happiness. And where I'm at right now, there's, there's, there's no love. There's no love there. Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Painful. Heartache. I mean, little, literal heartache. 
painful. Somebody has been suffering. But you know, you know, suffering, true suffering is what brings you true growth. So I feel like somebody has basically really seen the light through their suffering. And I see the end of suffering, right? Because we have this, this completion, completion, completion. It's the end of suffering. I can't, I don't want to do this anymore. So I think we have a painful separation here. There's, there's pain, there's heart pain, right? There is, there's heart pain here, there's heartache. It's like a stab right in the right in the middle. I mean, it's it's painful, 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 painful. Somebody has dealt with a lot of pain, and I think they're they're ready. They're ready to end this suffering. They're ready to end this pain, and they're ready to start their new life, to start their new chapter. So I definitely see closure. Somebody bringing closure to a situation that they have held on to for a long time, and it's like it's all there's all it's all been. You know, a bunch of, I mean, there's been regrets. There's definitely some regrets here. There's some guilt as well. There's been a painful, uh, a hurtful situation here in which I think somebody worked with a person that didn't have good intentions or didn't have good morals you know, and now they're seeing the light and they regret it. They regret wasting their time on that fake, whoever that fake is. Um, yeah, I think we got somebody here that's seen the light and they're deciding to uh, hit the high road, take the high road, because I can't, I can't live like this. It's time. I mean, this is destiny, fate, and it is a week of fate. This is the week of fate, okay? So this is a fated change in direction. Somebody's direction is changing. I think we have, you know, this is a new chapter. Whatever is happening or whatever has happened has brought you closer to your life's purpose, right? And now when we have a significant chapter in someone's life that is coming to an end. It's been painful. So yeah, this is this is destined. Destined change, of course. This is like, I mean, this is all happening to bring you something better. This all happened to bring you something better. This is the wheel, the wheel of fortune, right? It says the wheel, it's the wheel of fortune. The wheel spins and it, it bring it takes things out of your life to bring you something better. The wheel of destiny. So this change was meant to happen at this time. And I feel like we have somebody that is seeing the light. It's time for a change. It's time for my new life. It's time for me to close this book, close this chapter, and start over. There's definitely completion, completion, completion here. Completion, 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 completion. It's over. It's time for me to be happy. It's time for me to be loved. So on the 15th, I feel like somebody is, is, is giving up. They're not putting in any more energy into holding on. You're not working on it anymore. It's like I'm not giving it any more of my energy. I have no energy left to give to this. It's stolen my energy. It's stolen my drive. It's stolen my power. It's stolen my concentration for too long. It's time. It's time. It is time. It's divine timing right here. It's time. It's time. It's time for me to, to close this, to let go of this dead end. Break free, liberate. I deserve love. This is unrealistic. We're going to get some of these. Somebody's been living in a very unbalanced, unharmonious situation because... <laughs> Why? Because they were afraid to start over. Afraid to try new things. 
But I think that we have somebody here that has decided, you know what, I'd rather try new things than live this in this secret, lied, whatever it is. Somebody has been keeping secrets and we got this other person who knows it and they see it and they, they realize it now. It's like, boom! Oh my God. I've been dealing with a fake this whole time. That kind of energy. That kind of thing. I've been dealing with a liar or I've been dealing with somebody that was just after my money or whatever the case is. Somebody had hidden agendas here and I think we got the other person who's had this light bulb moment. The light bulb has went off. The light has come on. And I think there's grieving because, you know, it's sad when you, you give it all. You give all your energy to a situation and it doesn't pan out. That's sad. Anyway, let's get a couple of these. Patience. Divine timing. The time is now. That is the time is now. Somebody's ready. That's what I see. I think they have been waiting for the right time to make their move, and I do feel like the time is now. I do. Now, that's a seven. That's, that's divine, right? Seven is a number for, from heaven, right? So I feel like the time is now. The time is now to break free. Woman holding a heart. Oh my goodness, that all oh, I have my heart, my hand goes right to my heart with that car. It's in 44. <laughs> yeah. Woman holding heart. I really don't know what to say about that card. I mean, that is a, somebody offering their heart. Maybe that's the golden opportunity. Maybe that's the opportunity that somebody is seeing and they're that's why they're leaving this other thing. I don't know what it is, but I mean, for that is a woman who is offering her heart wholeheartedly. Absolutely, my God, my my ears just started like they like when you get on an airplane. Something just happened. What is that? When you get on the airplane, your ears pop. That's what just happened to my ears. It's like a. kind of thing Whew. so yeah I think that somebody's getting some sort of download or something I don't know what's going on but uh, wow holy moly appreciation appreciation very odd still happening too um, Somebody may be realizing how much they appreciate this woman or a woman that, you know, has given them their heart. They may get this light bulb moment that this is a golden opportunity and this is where I got to go. So I don't know who that is for. But we definitely have somebody that is completing a very prominent cycle in their life. And it looks like they are probably opening their heart in a new direction because they see a bigger, better opportunity. And I feel like the time is now. We may have a woman that needs to be patient. Just saying. Just saying. I don't know. Maybe she's lost her patience. She probably has for some of you, you know. Maybe, you know, she's not putting in any more effort. She's she's lost confidence in the situation and working together with this person because, you know, maybe there's, you know, who knows what. <laughs> Anyhow, I feel as though somebody is has a newfound appreciation. I think it's a newfound appreciation for love. You know, what love is, what happiness is. It could involve another person, yes. But I think this is somebody letting go of a false romance for good. 
because there's a bigger, better opportunity out there and they know it. Somebody's walking away. Leaving it all behind. It's time to go. Because it's time to begin again. So I, I really feel like we have somebody who is absolutely, you know, closing one book and opening another. And that's what I see. Because happiness matters. Good luck. My ears are cleared up now.